Is this going to take long? I've got somewhere to be. No, don't worry. If it's okay with you, I have to record this interview for later notes and to refer back to specific quotes. This is an audio recorded interview for the North Pole magazine, The Grotto. Location is North Pole, Three Arctic Drive. The time is 1.06pm. This is journalist Jane Billings interviewing Mrs Dorothy Claus about the mysterious case of Mr Claus, also at the centre. There is no one else in the room or on location. I just want to start off by thanking you for your time. I know this must be really hard for you to talk about. Not really. Oh, well then, I'm just going to start off by asking what he was like before that night. Did anything seem strange? Yes, actually, he began acting differently around Christmas 2019. He was turning 50 and I put it down to his midlife crisis. His parents were moving from the North Pole to America to start a new life, a normal life. Oh, I just think they wanted to get away from their whining man-child, to be honest. It all started Christmas Eve. And I normally read whilst he went out delivering, but that night I decided to make cookies, which obviously meant I was especially aware of the time, very aware of the time. My husband came home late. He's never late. There was no traffic. At first I didn't think much of it. I think he didn't want me to worry about him. But then I started to get suspicious. Of course, any wife would. What were you suspicious of? I started to think he was cheating on me. And then the following year he was home late. Again. Sorry I'm late, the child woke up and had to make sure he was back to sleep. You smell like a funeral home infused with roses. Where have you been? What do you mean? I haven't been anywhere. I told you, I had to put a child back to sleep. You always keep overthinking things. Don't you trust me? I didn't trust him. I knew not to. Of course I do. He smelt of alcohol and perfume. I'm not an idiot. And of course, the next year he was late again. I started to think he wasn't coming home. I don't want to hear it. Just go to sleep. He came home late three times. I'm not just going to sit back and ignore it. I'm never wrong. What did you do? I retraced his steps. I walked up the stairs. I entered our bedroom and closed the door behind me, just as he did. I went to his side of the room and sat on his side of the bed. I leant forward and opened his drawer. I found a strange little card in there and I picked it up. It was a hotel key card. 
feel like telling me what this was doing in your side table drawer? This is what you put in there last night, isn't it? What's that? How did that get in there? I told you what happened last night. I dropped some presents off the sleigh and I had to go and find them. You've planted it there. Planted it there? Why would I plant a hotel keycard in your side table drawer? I don't know. Why would you? It's a pretty insane thing to do. Do you really think I'm going to believe what you're trying to tell me? Well, I didn't put it there, so you must have. Are you telling me I'm going insane? Maybe. No! It was the only option. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. Because now I can live my life without listening to your lies. What do you mean? I put poison in your drink, dummy. Christmas is dead. So are you. I was saving myself from humiliation. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dorothy. They told me I'd lose my job if I didn't live stream it to the radio. They suspected you the whole time. Then they gave me the voice recorder app. I just figured they'd change their mind. I guess they didn't. They must have hacked it. Nah, not everybody can be the good guy. <laughs> 